Hey everybody, Alonzo Penelope here with Gulf Coast Smoke. Today we're making jalapeno pizza poppers. So last week I told you guys, I'll say it one more time, my wife and I are headed out on Friday to a competition here locally and we signed up for Chef's Choice on Friday. So we're gonna try this recipe out over there and we wanted to practice it today and I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I'm gonna turn it into the judges. So my favorite pizza is jalapeno pepperoni and what we're gonna do is we're gonna get those flavors and we're gonna stuff them inside a jalapeno and we're gonna wrap it with bacon and hopefully it turns out delicious so obviously the chef's choice is not the main part of the competition we are gonna be doing chicken ribs and brisket on Saturday but on Friday night it sure would be great to start it off with a nice win on the chef's choice regardless we're gonna have fun doing this we're gonna have fun doing the whole thing out there and I'm hoping to bring you guys along, bring the camera along, and show you guys what an IBCA event looks like here in South Texas. I'm sure a lot of you guys already know, but I think it might be cool to see it from our point of view, how I'm prepping, how things are going throughout the day. You know, we might have some frustrating times, we might have some really good times, and hopefully we can catch all that on camera. Because I think that, like I said a few videos back, or maybe in the last video, if you guys love barbecue, I really think that you should go to at least one competition in your days because it's just the camaraderie and how many people there love to do exactly what you're doing. It's incredible. It's incredible. So anyway, I want to bring you guys in. I'll show you these ingredients and then we'll talk about exactly what we're going to do. I am going to cook this on my Weber kettle today and that's what I'm going to do on Friday as well. So we'll get this going. We'll get outside, obviously try and get some really good action shots for you guys. Play with the kids maybe a little bit, get some shots of that. And then we'll come on in and we'll talk to you guys about how this tastes. Now, what we were originally going to do is we're going to do my wife's buffalo chicken popper recipe, which truly, those are the best poppers I've ever had in my life. Like, I'm not even just saying that. I love them. So there's a recipe for those on our website. If you guys are interested, you can go check that out. But it was kind of my idea to try this out. So hopefully today we nail this flavor and we can feel confident moving forward into Friday. If not... I guess it's possible we revert back to the buffalo chicken recipe, but I'm hoping that this one's good. So come on in, let me show you the ingredients, and then let's go outside and let's start cooking. Okay, so here I have some fresh jalapenos that we'll go ahead and slice up. We'll de-vein, de-seed, and that's obviously going to be what we put all of our stuffing in. I have some sliced pepperoni that we picked up at our local HEB that we'll dice up and we'll mix in the cream cheese and the shredded mozzarella cheese. We also got some Rayo's homemade pizza sauce here. I love this stuff. I think it's really, really awesome. Obviously not sponsored or anything, but go ahead and try this out. I think it's really good and I think you'll like it. And then of course we have some thin sliced bacon that we're gonna wrap around the poppers in the end. All right, so from here what we're gonna do is we're gonna prep up these poppers. I'm not gonna talk too much about it because I think it's gonna be pretty self-explanatory. And if you guys have any questions moving forward, obviously, just leave them in the comments below. I make it a point to try and answer every single question. So feel free to ask anything and I'll do my best to answer. But anyway, it's time for prep. It's time for B-roll. It's time for playing outside with the kids. Let's get right to it.
Okay, so this was a really simple cook. You guys saw what I did pretty much from start to finish. I lit a chimney about three quarters of the way, got those coals nice and hot, that B&B charcoal. I created a two zone fire in my Weber kettle. That's my favorite way to cook it. And I cooked these poppers indirect the entire time. I didn't flip them, I did nothing. I just touched the skin, the bacon, and I made sure that it was crispy the way I wanted it. That's it. Overall, I would say it took about 50 minutes to get where I wanted to. I did lose a little bit of the filling, but that typically happens when you're creating poppers and you're making poppers. So what I did do while those were cooking was I tried the filling and I could tell you that it is phenomenal. So in the end, you saw that I drizzled a little bit of ranch dressing over top of this as well. And that was kind of something that my wife and I came up with on the fly. So we're hoping that this tastes good, but like I said, if not, We'll decide on if we want to do the buffalo chicken poppers or these pizza poppers moving forward. Regardless, let's get right into it. Let's try them out and let's talk about how they taste. They look delicious. I'm just going to take a bite. I'm going to for sure make these. They are delicious. The creaminess from the, gosh, it's just so good. So the creaminess from the cream cheese, I taste the pepperoni, the ranch dressing makes it delicious. Bacon's always good. The popper, the jalapeno itself is just amazing. I think I have an idea, hold on. Let's add some Killer Hogs hot sauce to the top of one of these. See how that tastes. Mm. That's amazing. That is so good. We have to do it like that. I think we have to add the buffalo sauce as well. This is not too spicy. This is actually my favorite hot sauce. This Killer Hogs hot sauce is my favorite hot sauce. So, I mean, I already down two in record time. Here's another. That is the way to do it. I'm trying this out this weekend at the competition for sure because truly that's just one of the best poppers I've ever had. The other one that my wife makes all the time, the buffalo chicken, is amazing as well. Like I told you guys earlier, I'll leave a link in the description below so you guys can try that one out if you want, but do not knock this one. This is right there with it right there with it and this is the first time we ever made it my wife and i were just talking the other day and decided hey let's try this one out and i don't know if too many people do them like this but they should be because this is so good so my wife usually comments on every single one of our videos actually she comments on every single one of our videos her name is sabrina you'll see it down below and she'll give you her thoughts on these so be on the lookout for that i always love when she comments because it gives you guys a second set of insight or a second set of thoughts or whatever you want to say on how exactly the meal tasted. A lot of the times we do think differently on things. So when we do our comparisons, I'll pick one seasoning and I'll tell you guys and then she'll go in the comments and say that she preferred the other one. So always look out for her comments and it's a great way to get that feedback from two different people because it's not just me here. She's right behind the camera every single time. If my kids could type, I'm sure they would tell you what they thought as well, but they're not there yet. As always, I really appreciate you guys tuning into this video. Thanks. I'm going to eat the rest of these. We'll see you on the next one.